hello you are welcome to this channel in today's tutorial we're going to be talking on how to make this style you are watching on the screen right now can you see the style so i'm going to be showing you how i cut and sew this tie one after the other so if today is your first time of watching this youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i posted the video this is a very simple pin for actually this cloth is not for this girl that wear it on the screen right now i just have to test it the owner is a little bit taller than i but i just have to test the clothes so that i'll be able to snap her so this is a very simple pinafore pinafore dress so let's get back to work and see how i cut and sew it so this is the fabric i use i use this trash material this is a sample material this is just two yards of the fabric it's two yards though i don't finish the material it remains little so this is it this is it i already cut out the main body so it's the down part that we want to cut right now let's cut the down part the person waist measurement is 28.5 our waist is 28.5 so i'm going to be let's chop the 28.5 then we are going to add our two inch sewing allowance Yes, let's add our two inch sewing allowance to it. So that is for the waist measurement. Now to our hip. Now we are going to be from our hip, from our waist measurement to our hip, we are going to be using seven. So let's measure that out. This is it, seven. So then we will now take our hip measurement. This is for our waist measurement i want to roll it out though the shock is not showing very well but at least let me roll this hip line let me roll it out for us to see so now our hip is 30 37 37 divided by 4 we give us 9 and quarter 9 and quarter 37 divided by 4 we give us 9 and quarter so let's measure that out 9 and quarter this is it plus our 2 inch sewing allowance So now to the down part. This is what I'm going to do for the down part. The down part, whatsoever you use, let's say you use um basically for me, this is what I always do for the down part. Anything I use for the person waist measurements, that is what I always use for the person down part. You understand? If I use if the person waist measurement is 28 i'm going to be using except if the person waist is very tiny the person waist is tiny and the person is a little bit fat then i can add one inches to our waist measurement plus the sewing allowance if i use 28 that is seven plus sewing allowance that makes it nine that is what i'm going to use for the down part as well so that is what i just did right now i just measure out the person waist measurement plus two inch sewing allowance that will give me what i need so i want to connect the two together now i want to connect it together let me connect it together and cut it for you to see so this is it I just decided to use pen because the shock is not showing very well 
so let's cut it out and see what i'm saying so this is it can you see it so i'm done cutting that so that is that about that so the next thing we are going to do now because the front has extra fabric there is one like there is another one on the top of the skirts it's not straight it's curved like this so i'm going to cut that one first before i cut the half length so this is i'm just placing the fabric on top of the front that we just cut now i've placed the front on the table then i place the fabric on top of it so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to pin it let me pin this together i'm going to pin it So I'm done pinning it now. So the next thing I'm going to do after pinning it is to determine how I'm going to do my slant, how much I'm going to be doing for the slant. So what I did is that from the down part, I measure it. Then from the upper part, I measure 10. That is what I just did. I measure 10 from the waist measurement and from the leg, from the down part, I use it so I'm just going to like slant it then I'm going to cut it out then we are going to cut it out let's cut it out and see this is for the one at the upper part of the skirt the wrapping one this is it so this is it after cutting it this is what we are going to have so this is what we are going to have so that is that about that now to the half length now i already cut out half length of the back and the front i just place it together you don't need sip allowance for the back since we are not using sip for the back so we don't need sip allowance now what you need is the person shoulder i already measure out our shoulder then i need the person on the bust as well after you measure the person shoulder measure the person on the bust on the bust don't forget measure the person on the bust after taking your measurements for the under bust measure the person bust measurement what is our bust measure it out shock it out add your sewing allowance to the person bust measurements after doing that roll it out are you getting it okay come to your waist you are going to measure the person neckline what are you using for this one i use four i use four for this one then after measuring my four i'm going to measure my under bust here as well I'm going to rule it out yeah so this is my on the bust then I'm going to like the four that I mark here for the neck line I'm going to connect it to this place this is how I sew it can you say that 
so i just connect my neck to my under bust then i connect the shoulder here i connect it to this place to this exact place then i have four here so that four is okay for me because i'm still going to take by the time i start sewing it i'm going to pleat that place i'm going to do one pleat at the shoulder so this is what i have now to this place i'll come up with half inch and quarter you can decide to come up with more than that too but i just come up with half inch and quarter only the front you are cutting only the front like that so that is the, then i cut this this is what i have can you see so this is it after i'm done i'm going to like i'll be showing you how i'm going to join it in the tutorial i'll be showing you i'm going to join it so that is for the that is for the front neckline now to the back neckline now you know the back i pieces the back into two I cut on the bust separate this one you don't need to cut anything separate just connect your place the one you cut earlier the front you cut earlier place it on the back place it on the back and roll it down yes just roll it till down this is what I did just roll it down class then i come here i roll this also to down this is what i have so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut another pieces for all the five things you know the front is going to be three piece the back is going to be two piece then i'm going to cut another one with the fabric i'm going to cut extra that is for the interfacing i use the same fabric as interfacing for this tutorial for this design so i'm going to go, i'm just going to call it cut it out one after the other after cutting it out i'm going to turn them i'm going to use one to turn another one this is for this one as well I'm going to cut two pieces for this as well. Can you see that? So that is that about that. So now I've already used one to turn one. I already turned it. This is it on the machine. I already turned the back. This is the back yes this is the back so i already turned the back this is what i have this is the back or the front i think this is the front i already turned the front sorry and this is the third piece for the front because the front is three piece this is the third one So the next thing I'm going to do now is to sew this two piece on this. So just see how I'm going to sew it. So, so I'm going to put I'm going to put plates on it. Basically, I want to put one plate, but I later open it and I put three plates on each. 
I pleat it thrice on each one. This is what I did earlier, but I later change it. I later pleat three times on each one. So I'm going to place the second one as well. So I'm going to do the pleats. I'm going to just do the pleats. I'm trying to measure it 4.5 so that I will know where I'm going to start the pleats. So that the two pleats will rhyme. One will not be bigger than the other. You understand? So this is what I have after sewing it like that. This is what I have. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the... I'm going to turn it now. Because I cut two pieces for this one as well. So I'm going to be turning it. But before that, I need to take one pleat at the shoulder as well. I need a pleat at the shoulder of the style so i'm going to do the pleats i'm going to repeat the same thing on the other shoulder as well so that is that then the next thing i'm going to be turning this place just like i said earlier i'm going to turn it i'm going to turn it So after turning it, I'm going to take it for high on it. But before that, let me do the back bodies as well. So this is the, I already take this also for high on it. So this is what I have for the back. But before I proceed, let me join the down parts together and fix the zip. So this is the down parts. I already measure 7 inches for my zip allowance. For the down part, there is no need for slit. You don't need to put slit. Can you see it here? I don't put any slit on that. Then I just took my darts for the back bodies. I just take my darts. Then after taking my darts, I'm going to let's see. I leave one inches before I start to fix it. I leave one inches. For the zip allowance and a little bit of space just little little space i leave it down yeah then i'll start to stitch it then i'm going to pleat on this as well yes i'm going to pleat this So I'm going to pleat on this. Yes, just three pleats on the back. Just the same way I did the front as well. So this is the back. So I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side too. And this is the one. This is the extra in the front. And this is the front. I already high on it. This is it. So I'm going to notch the middle. I'm going to notch the middle now. Let me notch the middle. Then I'm going to notch the middle of the down part as well. Then I'm going to fix it on each other. I'm going to fix this. Yes, just the notching place to this place. Then I'm going to like. This is what I have. I'm going to repeat the same thing here as well. So 
so this is what i have after joining it together then i'm going to place the extra you know there is one at the top so i'm going to sew it on top of this i first use my pin use your pin to secure the two together before you start joining it i hope you understand then i join it and i sew it together after sewing it this is it after sewing it. then this is the piece i cut i cut four inches then i fold it into two and turn it and i'm going to sew it with the edge of this one just going to sew it then I'm going to join the shoulder of the front and back together I'm going to join the shoulder I'm going to join the shoulder of the front and back together after joining it i'm going to join the body and your pinafore is ready to rock and i'm going to join the body and your pinafore is ready to rock and this is it after joining everything together this is what we have can you see it this is what i have after joining everything this is the back this is the back on the mannequin this is what i have after joining it the material is a stretch material so if you know you enjoy this tutorial please don't forget to give this tutorial a thumbs up and please don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i posted a video thank you so much for watching my channel god bless you bye